Hey, what's up, Facebook? It is your girl, Boomy here, and today I'm going over the four reasons why follow-up is so important. Now, um, if you're on my team, you know today is day one of our Fortune is in the Follow-Up Challenge. So we've had a series of challenges, starting out with our Activity Challenge, then we went to our 7-Day Video Challenge, then we went to our Phone is King Challenge, and now... We are on our fortune is in the follow-up challenge. So I came up with this challenge because, well, the fortune is in the follow-up. And a lot of people in our industry are leaving money on the table because they're just not following up with prospects. And so I came up with this very easy challenge. Again, all of our challenges are very easy to do. Most of the things in this industry are easy to do, but they're also easy not to do. And so you want to make sure that when you are running challenges that it helps people to um, push and come out of their comfort zone, but it's still easy enough for them to accomplish. All right. So um, today for day one of our challenge, you are only following up with two people. You may say you only have your team to follow up with two people. That's right. It's easy to do. But listen to this, guys. Here we go, day one, two people. Every day this week, follow up with two more people that you previously have put in your pipeline. At the end of the week, that would have been 14 follow-ups. Now, for the average person in this industry, that is more follow-up than they've been doing in the past. So, this is something that when you have a team of people following up with 14 people, 10 people following up with 14 people, that's 140 people that have been followed up with. So, a little can turn into a lot in this industry. And I'm going to show you how to turn it into money, money, money into your bank account. But okay, so I'm making this video for you all team so you can learn some more about the importance of follow up. So I got four reasons for you. The number one reason that you want to follow up. And again, this is a no certain order. Follow up is a very important because people are super, super busy. And as much as they may love your product, as much as they may need your weight loss, as much as they said, oh my gosh, girl, I'm going to call you. Yes, I've been looking for this. There's so many different things that are vying for people's time that even when they really, really like what you have, typically they don't call you back. I know people have approached me with things and I just loved it and I thought it was a great idea, but I'm busy with family and business and things to do and a big list and so... I didn't call the person back, even though I did have an interest. If they would have called me back, they would have gotten the sale. I would have pulled up my credit card, but you know, it wasn't that important. So they didn't get the sale if they didn't follow up with me. So remember that, that people, I mean, there's so many things vying for people's time. Even if they have an interest, they typically don't call you back. So you have to be the one to follow up. All right. Number two. Let me give you a second reason why you want to make sure that you follow up. So a lot of you who are new, you are truly looking to um, make your stand in the marketplace. You know, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. You've all heard that before, right? And so you are working on building your brand. You are working on um, establishing a reputation for yourself in your industry, in the marketplace, on social media, or whatever. And so, when you follow up with your prospect, it allows them to see that you are really serious about your business. There are so many people, especially in network marketing, who just kind of sign up for stuff, and people don't take them seriously because either they just company hop, or maybe it's because they're in today and so excited, and two weeks later, oh, they're not as excited, and they're not in anymore. But when you follow up with your customer and when you follow up early and often, that lets them know that you're serious. You're in the game. You're in it to win it. You're not hounding them, but you're using a very authentic, genuine, conversational tone and approach to see how you can be of service to them. And so you following up shows that you are serious in the marketplace. It shows that you are about your business and that you really, really, um, that you care. So number two reason, let people see that you're serious about what you are, about your offering, about your brand, about your business by following up. 
All right, number three, another reason why you want to follow up is because it helps, it makes your customers feel special. So a lot of times we talk about following up in order to get the sale. Well, what about following up for repeat business? What about following up for servicing your client, checking on them, making sure that they are getting a benefit from whatever it is that you sold them. So it's not just about that lay down sales, not just about collecting somebody's 16 digits, yay, that's great. But when you gather a customer, what about getting a long-term repeat customer? How do you build a book of business as a long-term repeat book of business? It is by helping your customer to feel special Thanking them on their birthday, giving them a follow-up call to check on them, seeing how they're doing with the product, helping them to get the result, not just that you got the sale, but helping them to get the result that they signed up for. So a follow-up call is really good for that as well, and it helps your client to feel special, and that helps to give you more and repeat business. All right, and let's see, number four. The fourth reason today why you need to follow up is because people need to hear from you an average of seven times before they actually pull the trigger. Now, I know you probably don't like the sound of this, but this is just true. I mean, marketers know when they put ads out on TV that you need to see that commercial at least seven times before you actually go and buy that thing. Same thing on social media. We're scrolling through and we see some of the same advertisements, right? Oh, I like that, but we don't necessarily buy it the first time. We keep seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. And it's an average of seven times of seeing something before we actually pull the trigger. So it's the same thing with you in your follow-up. Your customer needs to hear from you some type of way, on average, seven times of you following up before they actually take action. So hearing your voice is very important. You can continuing to connect with your client is very important. You continuing to check on them, continuing to tell them success stories of other people who have tried the product. So remember that people need to hear from you on average seven times. One email is not enough. One post is not enough. So remember guys, the fortune is in the follow up. A lot of you all are leaving money on the table, just all them dollars. All that, you're just leaving them. You're just leaving all these dollars, all these dollars. You're just leaving them all on the table because you're not following up. Pick up your money, all right? Pick up your money. Pick it up and don't leave any of it on the table by making sure that you follow up. So again, if you're in the big group, my team, Billionaires in Training, today is day one of the fortune is in the follow up challenge. Make sure that you are following up with your two or more people that you put in your process in your pipeline last week and then tomorrow i will be back with some more information for you on why you want to follow up to get to your financial freedom have a great day everybody if y'all just joining us watch it on the replay bye bye what's up faith hey hello my friend delton how are you hey key marie what's up jermaine and marvin how you guys doing today let's go get it y'all all these awesome, fantastic, phenomenal entrepreneurs out there. What's up, Ella G, girl? You are you sell you selling your jewelry? You got your paparazzi going on today? Have you have you made a video today, Ella G? All right, hey Anthony, what's going on? All right, guys, I will talk to you all later. Have a fantastic day. I'm out of here.